Alright guys, I'm not gonna say good morning, because today was not a particularly good morning. First, my heroin shipment was intercepted by the United States Navy. I told the mailman to be discreet. Then, the orphan buffalo with the bent horn that I adopted ran away, taking many of my dishes and my heart. And now, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I am presented with the discovery that my grandparents' will consist entirely of shellfish and snakeskins. So if they had told me this just two or three days ago, I could have saved hundreds on my team of ninja assassins. Today in the news, Penelope Cruz, hey that rhymes, could be joining Johnny Depp on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean 4. On Stranger Tides, me mateys. I don't believe me mateys is actually inside of the title. This fourth Pirates of the Caribbean movie will revolve around Captain Jack and the Fountain of Youth. And what's funny about that is that one time, several years ago, a leprechaun in a bar told me that he'd lead me to the Fountain of Youth for only 30 bucks. The leprechaun then led me in a wild chase through the city into a maze of buildings until I got lost. And then as he took my money and ran off, he dropped a note that said, Aren't you a bit old to be believing in leprechauns? Stupid leprechaun! Also, a man in the wild woods of Michigan was arrested the other day when he complained to the police. Don't complain to the police! At least whenever you're complaining to the police that your car was stolen while you were trying to purchase illegal drugs using a credit card. Now, I know I may look innocent and cuddly and, you know, halfway to being bald, but over the past years, I have conducted several extensive studies into the criminal underworld, and I have discovered two very important things. One, drug dealers don't take credit cards. And two, that man was not a leprechaun. He was a very greedy midget, and he took my money, and I want it back. And in the crime-ridden metropolis that is Frisco, Texas, a down-on-his-luck armed robber attempted to do what he does best, armed robbery, but he was foiled by Jesus. Our armed robber attempted to rob this store and was stopped in his tracks when the owner of the store invoked the name of Jesus. Our cowardly hero dashed from the store empty-handed, and if he came in there armed, that doesn't that mean that Jesus took his gun. If I, if I went from being an armed robber to an unarmed robber, and the guy who had my my gun was Jesus, I mean, you don't really got too much to worry about. Well, I mean, Jesus isn't gonna shoot you, he's Jesus. So maybe maybe you can cut a deal with Jesus. You can say, Jesus, if you help me rob this store, you know, I'll give you I'll give you half. For the comment box, do you have a date for Valentine's Day? I don't have a date for Valentine's Day because I'm fat. That's why I don't have a date for Valentine's Day.